the brazen execution of a prominent Greek mobster by unknown gunmen in central Athens, led to the arrests of two police officers for leaking CCTV footage of the murder to the media. The two assassins, who ambushed Vangelis Sambunis outside a gasoline station, remain at large, leaving Greece reeling after the latest of more than 20 killings in the past five years, mainly in the capital, linked to gang rivalries. Zambunis, 44, was a prominent figure in the Greek criminal underworld. It is believed he dominated fuel and tobacco smuggling, protection rackets and local narcotic distribution as well as being suspected to be behind a series of murders of rival gangsters. The two police officers were arrested after leaking CCTV footage of the hit, as well as photos of the dead mafia boss. The video shows him entering his armored BMW on Sunday morning, about 10 seconds before a second vehicle carrying gunmen arrives at the scene. A hooded masked attacker can be seen emptying a 30-round clip from an AK-47 assault rifle into the driver's side window of the SUV, reloading and firing a second clip to defeat the vehicle's armor. The killer then opened the BMW's shattered door and shot Zambuni several times in the head. Off-camera, a second gunman was firing another AK-47 into the vehicle from the other side of the car. Police said at least 96 shell casings were found at the scene. The assassin's car, a Lexus SUV reported stolen from Italy six months ago, was later found burning near the scene, where police also recovered two AK-47s and a pistol likely used in the killing. A third AK-47 and a pistol were recovered from Zambuni's vehicle by police. Zambunis cast a long shadow over the Athens underworld. Zambunis' reputation for being involved in mafia feuds extends to being a suspect in last June's assassination of a major mafia rivals, who were killed in a vehicle by two men firing AK-47 assault rifles. Police believe the assassination was in response to the April 2022 murder of yet another prominent Greek mafia boss who was killed outside his holiday home in Skorta, Greece, by two assassins firing AK-47 assault rifles. Zambunis himself had previously survived a 2018 assassination attempt when the would-be attacker's AK-47 rifle jammed. Greek and Albanian media have both reported that a contract on Zambunis' life had been circulating within criminal circles for some time. But in the Byzantine world of Greek organized crime, there's a second theory being considered by police and Zambuni's colleagues. An official with the Hellenic Police, Greece's National Law Enforcement Agency, declined to comment on the record but confirmed that revenge or territorial disputes with other crime groups are suspected as motives, and that an Albanian link to the assassins was being investigated. The Albanian media is reporting that Greek and Albanian authorities are saying Zambunis was killed by Albanian contract killers. Albanian organized crime groups operate internationally but are considered to have a strong presence in Italy and neighboring Greece, which is home to a huge Albanian community. The police did not discount the possibility of the Albanian mafia's involvement. According to Greek media, more than 20 contract killings have been committed since 2017 in Greece among gangs involved in extortion and other criminal activities. Zambuniza's grisly murder has opened a Pandora's box of conspiracy theories and potential leads. The authorities find themselves piecing together a jigsaw puzzle of violence, crime, and power struggles within the criminal underworld. The murder of this underworld leader not only reveals the intricate webs of the criminal network, but also suggests a grim continuation of violence that lurks in the shadows of Greek society.